students. No, ito po yung uh, medyo practical of all the topics that I will be discussing with you. This would be, because here we shall be discussing the factors or the aspects that one has to consider in choosing a career. Okay, dito na ako sa violent. According to Bandura and Company, Career development for most people is a lifelong process. Paulit-ulit po, no? Pati kanina si Super, yan din na sinabi niya. Of engaging the work world through choosing among employment opportunities made available to them. Each individual undertaking the process is influenced by many factors, including the context in which they live, their personal aptitudes, and educational attainment. The first thing that you should tell your students when you are uh, doing or uh, facilitating a career development activity is that begin with the end in mind. Kapag career at future mo ang iniisip mo, isipin mo agad kung ano ang gusto mong maging pagtanda mo. It is important to begin with the end in mind now because you are at a critical crossroad in life. Kapag nagka-career guidance activity po ako, there are some instances when my students will come to me and say, Ma'am, nalito po ako ah. Sabi ko sa kanila, mas magandang malito ngayon kaysa malito ka kapag nandun ka na. Diba? Kasi we are trying to give them information. So, I took it uh, positively na nalito siya. Ibig sabihin, nakinig siya, nag-isip siya, nakaramdam siya. You are the sum total of your decisions. One of your tools in making the right decision is information. The right information. So what are the aspects to consider? First one, pinaka-importante, abilities and interest. We, we first go to abilities. Kapag kukuha ka ng isang course, gusto mo, for example, ang gusto mo, ano bang uh, ano ngayon, course na maganda? Marami nagsasabi mga, ano di ba, uh, gusto nila maging chef. Kasi yun yung uso, chef, no? Yung mga iba din gusto nila paging... Yung mga iba pa tinanong mo, ano gusto mong course? Basta mamayang mayayaman po ako. Ano yung gusto nila, no? So kapag uh, we are uh, talking about abilities, there are some gauges that we could use. Una-una, overall school performance. Kung wala kang uh, testing result available, you can base on this. When you say overall school scholastic performance, how they did in the math, sciences, and English. Or sometimes we could, or most of the time, we also can base it from the IQ or ability test results. Siguro naman meron tayo mga IQ test na. Wala. It's either na tutulog sila or wala. Very important pa rin naman mo ang IQ ngayon or mga ability testing sa mga studente. Usually yung po yung ano eh pinakauna natin. Pero just in case, wala po talaga. Uh, we will try to uh, utilize a test that is given by the government for free. For free po ito, di ba? So, kung wala kang all-sack, wala kang uh, culture fair, let us use the NK. For this part, uh, I will ask my mother to distribute. <laughs> Bibigyan ko po kayo, it's all uh, only 40 pieces kasi hindi ko alam na 60 tayo. Please share with your seatmates na lang po. Uh, I will try to help you interpret the entire results. Na, nasa inyo po ba ang entire results? Yes. Eh, dapat nasa bata. Nasa inyo po, may kopya tayo. Tama, may second copy tayo. Because supposed to be the entire original results are with our students. What is the NKI? It is the National Career Assessment Examination. As graduates of psychology, titignan natin. Hindi, is it an achievement test? Diba? National Career Assessment Examination. It is a locally developed standardized test with five domains. Ano yung mga domains ng NKI? Kung dapat alam natin ito kapag counselor tayo, ha? General Scholastic Aptitude, Technical Vocational Aptitude, Non-Verbal Ability, Entrepreneurial Skill, and the Occupational Field of Interest. Nagsimula po ang Pilipinas sa NKI on January 2007 and this replaces the National College Entrance Examinations. Meron ka po bang nag-NCEE sa atin? Yes. Uh, sige. Alam na kapag gano'n na. <laughs> So, ano po yung purpose ng NKI? Kung yung NCEE, ang main purpose niya is for you to qualify to a school, ang NKI po is quite different, no? The NKI's purpose is to determine 
between students' strengths in, in different career fields. The main purpose is to help students choose or determine what courses they should go or study in college. And number two, what sort of career they are best suited for. Ina-administer ina po natin ang N kaysa grade 9 students. Supposed to be po, uh, this should be uh, utilized by the counselors for career counseling. So let's see. How about you na po? Oh, Siyempre, tinakpan ko po yung pangalan, no? Ayan. So let's see. How do we use the end time? Nakita niyo po sa mga papel niyo, um, examine and compare the examinee's personal ranks. Yun po yung nasa dulo, nakita niyo po? So, please look at the personal ranks in the component parts. Look into it. So, nakita niyo siya, no? Wala akong kopya dito, no? Saan akong kopya pa? Mga parang mga. So, tingnan po natin siya. Ito po yung mga you say personal rank, ito po yung nasa dulo. But then, we try to see, ito po yung descriptive rating nasa taas. So, ano yung ano natin dyan? May example na po akong nilagay dyan. So, 97, if we go to descriptive rating, is equivalent to above average. So, tingnan natin doon. Doon dyan natin makikita yung natural ability ng isang studyante by looking at his end time results. So, if we are to use this example, Ano ang strength ng batang ito? Ni examine X. Anong area in the end time is he performing best? Is it in the general scholastic, technical, or entrepreneurial skills? Sorry po, kasama din po yung non-verbal and ano ah, logical. Kasama po natin yun. When we say non-verbal ability, a personal rank of 97 is equivalent to what? Sige po, kaya po natin yan. Above average day. Logical reasoning ability, PR rank of 91 is? Above average day. So among the four, general, scholastic, technical, and the rest, I'm sorry, hindi pala siya four. Ano ang pinakamataas? Ano ang pinaka-strength ng batang ito? General, scholastic, aptitude, and meron pang isa, non-verbal so, doon pala makikita natin, it's very nice. Because unlike IQ, that gives you a very universal uh, quantitative rating, or quantitative tama, rating, kung average ka, yun na yun. Kung above average ka, this end kai would give us more specific. No? More specific. Saan malakas ang bata? Sa math ba? Sa entrepreneurial ba? Sa non-verbal ba? This is very important in choosing a career. I would always tell my students, in choosing a career, first consider your ability. Dahil hindi lahat ng gusto mo, kaya mo. At hindi lahat ng kaya mo, gusto mo. Tami. Hold ko yun din. Oh, yeah, no? So very important to start with what we call ability. Let's now go naman to, eh, paano ko ang studyante pala, ano siya? Ano may pinakababa niya? Kunyari, gusto niya maging ano, entrep. Yun ang pinakababa niya, di ba? Ang gusto mo po mag-ano, commerce, pwede po ba? When we are trying to do career counseling with our students, please remember, let us not use absolutes, ha? Palagi natin sasabihin, if we are to consider your NK results, Iho, it seems that among the different areas, ito yung medyo hirap ka. Hindi natin sasabihin na, ay, hindi, bababa mo, ibahin mo dun ka sa ano, general scholastic ka, ito yung perfect sa'yo. We did not do that. Or else, we are dictating. At kapag yung batang yun, hindi na succeed in college, what do you expect? He goes back to your office and say, kasalanan mo. Tama no, ma. Talaga po makatapas. Yung parang may na-experience siyang ganun, no? So that is it. What about in the other part naman? So areas of occupational interest. As you would notice, mapapaba po yung preference level niya, no? Siguro hindi siya masyado nakapag-lunch nung nag-entry siya. Wala siyang gusto. Mga gusto, puro ano lang siya, moderate preference, wala man lang high preference. Do you see that? You see that in the preference level. Nakacheck na dyan, ano ang rank, ang number one overall rank niya? It is aesthetics. No? So yun ang gusto ng bata. Tignan natin sa likod. Tignan natin sa likod. Ayan. Chinect ko na dyan, ano yung mga courses 
or careers na other sa aesthetics, we have theater, cheddar, ano na, no? Theater, cosmetic, garments. So, yun ang gusto niya. Lalaki itong nag-exam. Gusto siya. Yun ang kasi dito. Ayun ang gusto niya, no? When it comes to occupational interest. Kaya po ginamit ang ETA, this is perfect for our first factor, abilities and interest. The first part is abilities. The second part talks about interest. Kung minsan, clashing. O, paano pa clashing? Ano yung pa-prioritize mo? May ask, if your abilities, they are not consonant with your interest, ano yung pipiliin mo? Ano ang panindigan mo? Ang kaya mo o ang gusto mo? Alam? Ay, nag-aaway. Hindi na tayo matapos, ha? September na, hindi pa rin tayo natatapos. Pag-isipan natin mabuti, di ba? Kasi sabi natin, dahil gano'ng kahirap ang isang bagay, kapag gusto mo, nakakaya mo. Pero meron din naman ang sasabi na, kahit gano'ng mo, pag gusto ang isang bagay, kung di mo naman talaga kaya, saan ka pupulutin? So, yan ang aking tanong sa inyo ngayon. Ano ang pipiliin natin? Abilities o interes. Pero lang akong ano, PS. Ang interes po natin nagbabago from time to time. Parang sinagot ko na doon. Parang pag-ibig lang po yan. Mahirap kumapit sa pabago-bago. Diba? Dapat yung stable. Okay. The next factor to consider is personality and temperament. When you say temperament, it is that aspect of personality related to mood and mood changes and to reactivity and energy. Take note, a person may have everything it takes, matalino, interesado, but he would fail because of his temperament. So, tanongin ko kayo, kapag guidance counselor ba, ano bang klase ng personality meron tayo? Let us use the MBTI. We are familiar with the MBTI, no? Sa computer meron to eh. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? Who says he is extrovert? Uy, wala naman pong ano to. Wala naman pong bawas sa registration or dagdag sa registration na magsaas ng kamay. Ano po? Sino po magsasabing he is an extrovert? Taas po yung kamay. Ano ba yung sabihin ng extrovert? Ano? Hindi na talaga yung sabihin ng extrovert. Di ba yung parang ako lang gano'n? Sino po dito yung extrovert? So lahat po tayo introvert? Ako introvert. Introvert din sa sister. Ako din. Sino dito ang sensing? Sino dito ang intuitive? Yan po ang ibig sabihin ng MBTI. Kapag ikaw ay guidance counselor, what do you think is the suggested personality trait for you to be effective? Ha? Meron po nakakaalam. Ako po nalaman ko lang po ito nung isang araw. Naiyak nga po. Okay. Nalaman ko po ito. Gusto niyo po makita kung ano? Yes. Okay. Alam mo kayo yung choice. Nagali lang po ha. Napano na siya. Ano yan, very uh, used worldwide kasi pati sa computers or sa internet meron yan. Sa Manila po, very known ang Big Five Personality Test. Alam niyo po yun? Ocean, ha? Uh -huh. So yan yung ocean. Ako hindi ko po siya nakikita yung ocean. Pero sabi ng mga klase ko na nag-review kami, alam na alam nila. So nag-pretend na lang ako, alam ko rin siya. Buti nila mo lang sa exam. pagbalaan ng isang tao. For example, gusto mo maging teacher. Kaya lang hate mo yung mga bata. Do you think being a teacher is suited for that career? That ano? That secret? Hindi ko masabi sa sasabi. Created by Isabel Briggs-Myers. It is also known as a counselor. INFJ stands for introverted, intuitive. Ang bata, do you think that person would succeed or would become an effective teacher? Kung kaya pa niya maging isang effective teacher, it will take a lot of effort on her part to become one, right? As compared to somebody who is naturally compassionate to children. 
So yun po yung isang example na tinatawag natin why we say personality is very crucial or important when choosing a course. For example naman, um, can you give me another course? For example, ikaw ay gusto mo maging yung mga service oriented. Gusto mo maging counselor, tapos masungit ka. Paano yun, di ba? Paano ang lalapit sa'yo yung mga sudyante kung itsura mo pag umiti ka, tumatakbo pa din sila, no? So, yun po yung sabihin natin sa mga sudyante natin. May mga ibang sudyante naman, no? Gusto nila mag-nursing. Pero yung personality nila, takot na takot sa dugo. Kapag nakakita ng ini-injection, nagihimatay. So, sasabihin ba natin perfect yun or suited yun para sa kanya? Pakisabi natin, hindi naman natin sasabihin na, no, 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 hindi. Ang sasabihin natin sa bata, always, sabi ko nga, do not use absolutes. Ang sasabihin natin, anak, please try to reconsider. You are choosing a course that is very, that is quite far. Mag-isip tayo ng mga subtle terms. That you're choosing a course that is quite far from who you are. So, yun ang gagamitin natin. Sir, ang galing ni Sir. Palapakan mo natin si Sir! Salamat po! Okay, so ito lang po siya. What is the personality type perfect or suited of a guidance counselor? Personality for us is the 
INFJ. Okay. So this is just one type of personality test. If possible, if you may purchase a standardized test, that is highly uh, recommended, no? Because uh, please be careful on using internet downloaded personality tests for your students. Because remember, they are trying to make life-changing decisions in life. So, kung gagamit po tayo ng assessment tool, if possible, let us make use of standardized tests available in the Philippines. They're quite expensive. Kaya po, for us, ang ginagawa namin, inuunti-unti namin yung request until such time na makumpleto na namin sila. Huwag yun naman po ulatin yung administrator nyo kasi isang test ko, minsan, 85. Ganun, no? So, magbibigla. Unti-unti lang po. Another type of uh, test is, kagaya na sabi ko kanina, yung ocean. The big five personality test. Ang quite uh, famous po sa Philippines or sa ating mga practitioners is the 16PF. But for, do you know na meron po itong version sa high school? Quite obviously, pag sinabing 16PF, 16 personality factors ang minimeasure natin. Well, in fact, sa HSPQ or the high school personality questionnaire, it only measures 14. No? So, kung meron po kayong HSPQ, Ocean, or MBTI, or even other psychological testing that we use to measure personality, that's very good. Meron po bang makakapag-share kung ano yung ginagamit nilang personality test sa school? Para baka makapag-benchmark po tayo? So, kapag po wala, we just stick to the basic as much as possible. Kasi kung kagaya kanina, abilities and interest, wala tayong mag mahal po kasi sila. So we go to end time. So kapag dito, let's just be very careful. The third factor in cons uh, of consideration when choosing a career, especially for us Filipinos, would be par parental expectations. Dati po kasi, or even for us siguro, kung ano yung uh, occupation kung, or kung ano yung profession ng mga ninuno mo, yun ka din. No? Kaya nga sa, I noticed this when I was living in Pangasinan, kapag sa Pangasinan, nakita ko yung mga bahay, talaga meron silang, ano na tawag po doon, madami? Uh, title. 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 Basta meron silang ganun na, napansin niyo po, that is a sign of, di ba yun ang pride ng isang family, that is prestige. You are proud that, your child is a nurse, mga civil engineer, mga ganyan. So kapag kayo po ay naging licensed guidance counselor na, licensed and registered, paggawa din po kayo. Kaya lang puso lang po yun doon. No? Dito po ba meron ba? Pinira na lang. Pero when I was there, I would always notice, hindi lahat ng kapitbahay, mga ilan-ilan sa kapitbahay may mga ganun sila. Because that is a sign that their parents are proud of the courses or the profession and careers of their children. Ngayon po ba uso pa yung dinidictate ng mga parents? When I do career counseling to students, whenever we go to number three, parental expectations, most of them would tell me their parents would support whatever they want to pursue in college. Do you have the same experience? Uso na po sa kanila yung nandun. They're very lucky, no? Kung ano yung gusto nila, they could pursue it for as long as they are very sure of it. Sabi natin dito, in career selection, one badly needs the support of one's parents, not only financially, but morally as well. Number four, social factors. Ito yung mga estudyante, when whenever you try to interview them, ano course mo? Ma'am Civil Engineering po, bakit ang dupulahan ng barkata ko? O kaya, bakit ano, bakit hindi ka mag-education? Ito yung parang maganda sa ano mo, ganyan, no? Ay, ma'am, wala po akong makilala dyan, ma'am. Pangit po, wala po yung mga barkada ko. The student must be made to see that relying solely on a friend's influence is not the wisest way to make a decision of a lifetime. So, okay na sa'yo, kunyari mo, miski ayaw mo ng engineering, gusto mo, ah, uh, Mente, kaya lang yung best friend mo nasa engineering, you would depend your lifetime decision just because you want to be with your best friend. What will happen if you and your best friend separate? Kanyari mo, nag-away kayo. What will happen? So, i-try po natin sabihin sa mga, it's very hard for, for us to convince them to do that. But let us use the wisdom that we know from this seminar 
As much as possible, we, we discourage our students to choose a course just because his or his friends or his barkada are all going to the same course. Pati po sa school, ganun sila, no? Yung mga iba sa kamag-aaral, UST. Bakit UST? Kasi po nandun po yung mga tropa ko. Maganda siyang basis kasi fun, fun, fun. Pero kapag titignan mo siya deeper, it's not really wise. And I'm sure you know that. The fifth factor is very important, physical or health qualification. Do you know na meron pong mga health standards na kailangan sa kurso sa college? For example, if you are taking nursing or medical courses, I researched this no, sa website nila, for SLU, BS Nursing, ang kailangan nila ay unang-una pumasa sa medical certificate. Uh, dapat meron sila medical certificate. Imperative that they underwent medical examination. At the same time, they should have a vaccine of HEPA B. What about for police officers? Yung mga police po natin, meron po silang susundan na size or height qualification. No? Kunyari po, yung mga magbibili-bili Pilipinas, hindi po kasama yun. Sabi natin dito, for any given career, one must be able to meet the minimum levels of physical demand. In this context, must be the student be able to determine his weakness and what he will have to do if he is to meet the requirements for the minimum demand in the chosen field. Some courses require long hours of study a lot of research and project making while well, some other courses do not require as much. No college po ako, this is very evident among my barkada. I'm a psychology student and most of my barkada are medtech students. Yung mga medtech students po, kapag gumigimik po kami, hindi po sila kasama. Palagi lang sila nasa bahay kasi palagi sila pero mga kung ano-ano, no? Palagi silang puyat, not as much as... I'm sure lahat tayo na puyat sa pag-aaral. Pero hindi kasing tindi nila, ng mga medtech. Even the medicine, no, syempre, pag medicine student ka, no, dire-diretsyo. So, please consider this factor if you are to choose a career. Kaya ba ng katawan mo? Kasi kung anemic ka, so magbe-medtech ka, baka hindi ka umabot, no? Baka ikaw na yung nadali sa hospital, ikaw na yung mga ilangan ng hospital. The next one, labor market. As guidance counselors, we should be well-informed and adept when discussing labor, labor market. Ito yung mga sinasabi natin na ano ang patok sa industry. Ito ang binibigay ng dole. Natulungin nyo, kung saan po tayo makakakita ng materials, I will show you a material, binigay dito ng dole. Mas infographic siya. Pero ayoko nang mag-ganyan kasi pumapalpak siya. Meron tayo dito, no? The, te the top 10 highest paying job in the Philippines. Sa tingin nyo, guidance counselor yun? Hindi. Okay, sabi siya, no? The top 10 highest paid jobs in the Philippines in 2015. Very, ano siya, current. The first is 37,784 IT or computer software persons. Yung mga, yan ang mga trabaho nila, no? So, kapag gusto mo daw ng mataas na sweldo at ang mga studyante natin, yan ang pinupuntirya, ang pinakamataas na sweldo sa Pilipinas, according to Dole, in 2015 ay IT. Kasama dyan na ang law, actuarial science or statistics, engineering or communications, kasama pa rin, PR, technical, and sales. So, ganyan po, no? kapag tayo ay nagkoconduct ng career guidance activities, not only do we consider what is innate, what is in, uh, natural of us, dapat titignan din natin yung labas. Ano ba ang current? Ano ba ang patok? Ano ba ang in sa Philippine market ngayon? That is labor market. Kasi nakakalungkot naman po kung isang estudyante, nag-aaral siya ng 4 years, pagdating niya na uh, pag-graduate niya, he would realize na hindi naman pala available yung ganun. No? For, I'm sorry po, example ko lang po ito, no? especially for our nurses. Ang right po nating nursing uh, nurses, na nag-graduate, they are registered and everything. But you would see, uh, nahihirapan po sila humanap ng trabaho. Pero I believe sa abroad, meron pa rin silang nakukuha. Let's be mindful of the labor market in choosing a career. The last one is finances. 
Kapag ang isang sudyante ay pupunta sa college, this is something that the family must talk about together. This is something na awkward lalo sa ating mga Filipinos because this is money matters. But I believe even though uh, awkward siyang pag-usapan, dapat pa rin siyang pag-usapan. Lalo po tayong mga parents na nandito, let's be open to our students. Let us be realistic. Let us be straightforward. Ano lang ba ang kaya ng pamilya natin? Kasi kung hindi mo kaya, kunyari mo, nung hindi kaya, meron naman ganun kasi ibang options, di ba? Let us be honest. For example, when we talk about finances, first consider the length of study. Is your child, is the student getting a four-year or five-year course? Length of study because the, 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 the longer you stay in college would mean more expenses. Next one, choice of school. Are you going for universities in the metro or are you going to stay in Tarlac? Or are you going to go to Baguio? Pag-usapan po natin yan. Magkano ang uh, average tuition fee sa Maynila ngayon? 40,000 pinakababa po. No? 40,000 per cent. Uh, De La Salle, they charge 60 and they are tri-semestral. Kailangan ko pinag-uusapan niyo. Huwag po natin eh, nakakasya na naman. No? Naya naman ako pag-usapan niyo niya. Let's be realistic. No choice of school. Course to take, ano ang pumunin niya? Let us be mindful that Medical courses are more expensive than the other courses because of the laboratory charges. At kung ang isang pamilya, they think and they decided that they could not afford to send their children to such a school because of the expenses, there are always scholarship or educational plans available. I'll give you an example. We all know na merong athletic, may academic grants, service or activity. Meron po tayong tinatawag na grant for medical courses. Kapag counselor po tayo, people or students will come to us and ask, Ma'am, ano pong scholarship ang pwede sa akin? If at the moment, you are not very much informed about it, maybe you could tell your students na, Sige, I'll try to look at it and come back tomorrow. Yung ganun daw. Kung supposed to be, dapat po alam natin. Pero kung hindi tayo sigurado, mas mahirap na mag-pretend na alam natin. No? Do you agree? Kapag hindi natin alam, kukulang ang kaalaman natin, let's try to equip ourselves more about this. So, kapag ang isang studyante is taking medical courses and he would like to pursue a scholarship, an example of that is the Mercury Drug Foundation Incorporated Scholarship. They give scholarship for medical courses college students. What about for engineering? Kami po kasi marami kami engineering students, lalo na go to Mapua. The AY Foundation Incorporated School Program would also cater or would also be giving scholarship grants. Kapag po ang inyong estudyante ay uh, uh, dito, uh, anak ng mga OFWs, meron din po scholarship grant ang OWA. No? OWA, Overseas Workers Welfare Association Education for Development School Program. So, kailangan po kahit po yung mga basic and uh, mga more famous, kahit po paano, let's try to uh, inform ourselves about those things. No? So, that would be finances from scholarships. I only presented to you seven aspects or seven factors. Of course, there are a lot more factors to consider. Ang pinili ko lang po yung mga medyo sa, sa tingin ko is yung talagang importante or mas pinaprioritize ng isang estudyante at isang Filipino family. Okay pa po ba tayo? Parang kailangan na ata natin mag-exercise yung mga itsura ng iba. Kanina masaya sila. Ngayon parang ayaw na nilang mag-guidance. No? Okay pa po ba tayo? Carry pa? Yes. Yung next topic ko po, last na po ito. Ay, salamat. Di ba kasi parang naririndi na sinasang boses ko. 